Now the MSC proteins and MSC genes. The T cell receptor cannot bind a free antigen. The antigen must be attached to a cell and it should be a self cell. If a cell is transferred from one person to another, it will not recognize the antigen. And the T cell receptor recognizes a foreign antigen when it combines with the self molecule. The self molecules are the major structure compatibility complex MSC proteins and these MSC proteins are present on all cells and are unique to each individual. These are the MSC proteins um, structure shown with the different color and the different domains are here. Basically the MSC genes are, uh, genes are responsible for the MSC proteins and MSC genes can divide it into three types. MSC class 1 genes, MSC class 2 genes and MSC class 3 genes. Firstly, the MSC class 1 gene encodes the MSC first uh, proteins. MSC 1 proteins are present on the surface of all the cells and the foreign antigen combined with the MSC 1 proteins are recognized by the cytotoxic T cells. Whereas the MSC class 2 gene encodes the MSC class 2 proteins and these MSC class 2 proteins are present on the macrophages, B cells and the follicular dendritic cells. Foreign antigen combined with MSC second proteins are recognized by the helper T cells. Here the MSC class 3rd gene encodes the complement proteins and some of the other plasma proteins. Yeah, some of the MSC proteins are properties are such as MSC protein are transmembrane proteins, they are synthesized on the endoplasmic reticulum and, and they get inserted into the cell membrane. They have a, a peptide that is antigen binding cleft on their extracellular surface. While on their way to the cell membrane, MSC protein picks up the peptide fragment from the degradation of the endogenous proteins and the exogenous proteins and the fragments are bound firmly and display on the surface of the cell. While the endogenous peptides bound to MSC proteins are ignored by the immune system. If a T cell find a foreign peptide bound to the MSC proteins, a cell mediated immune complex is operated. As the, this is the criteria how they distinguish between the self cells and the non self cells. The external foreign peptides are easily recognized and they uh, operate the cell mediated immunity over it. The MSC class 1 proteins are made up of large alpha subunit and the smaller beta subunits that is called the beta 2 microglobulin. And the alpha subunit has the three extracellular domains alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3, a transmembrane region, and the cytoplasmic tail. Here, the, the diagram of the MSC class 1 protein having the, um, its alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 regions uh, along with the beta 2 domain. Here, the antigen fragments is bound at the region alpha 1 and alpha 2. The alpha 1 and alpha 2 domains forms the peptide binding cleft. This is the ribbon shape, the structure view of the MSC1 protein. MSC1 proteins bind fragments of protein degraded by the cytosolic path. In cytosolic pathway, proteins are degraded by the 26S proteasomal um, systems, whereas the MSC class second proteins are made up of almost equal size of alpha subunit and the beta subunit. And each subunit has two extracellular domains, a transmembrane domains and the cytoplasmic tail. The alpha and the beta, alpha 1 and the beta 1 domain forms the peptide binding cleft in this MSC class second protein. Here we can see with the diagram that there is the alpha 1 and beta 1 
and, and beta 1 and the and the other is the alpha 2 and the beta 2 these having the MSC class second proteins and the antigen fragment is mm, present at the alpha 1 and the beta 1 region this is the ribbon shape again the structure of the MSC class second proteins and the, this MSC class second proteins bind fragments of protein degraded by the lysosomal pathway and these proteins first enter the cellular vesicles called the endosomes and these endosomes in this endosomes fuse with the lysosome to form the endolysosomes and the protein present in the endolysosomes are degraded by the lysosomal enzymes and the lysosomal uh, proteolytic enzymes are called the cathepsins and the protein present in the endosomes include the protein of the extracellular pathogen protein of pathogen that resides in the endosomes and the patho proteins uh, taken up by the cells by the endocytosis and the newly synthesized MSC class second protein bind to peptide fragments and go to the uh, to the cell membrane and the MSC class second protein get inserted in the cell membrane and display the bound peptide on the surface of a cell after that the, uh, the function of the cytotoxic T cells come with this cytotoxic T cell destroy the infected self cell along with the pathogen present inside them. This prevent the spread of infection to the healthy cells. Most viruses and the many bacteria resides and replicates in the cytosol of the infected cells and their proteins are degraded by 26S proteasomes. Peptide fragments are displayed on the surface of the cell by the class first MSC proteins. The foreign peptide bound to the self MSC class first protein is recognized by a particular cytotoxic T cells. The T cell receptor binds to the peptide and, and M forms the peptide MSC first complex. Here, the representation of using the diagram, the foreign proteins is is entered it is peptide form and it is then bound with the with that of the MSC class first proteins after that a transmembrane domain protein the CDA present in the cytotoxic T cell act as a co-repress co-receptor co and then uh, CD8 that is co-receptor is made up of and alpha and the beta chain linked to each other by the disulfide bond and the extracellular portion of the CD8 bind to the alpha 3 domain of MSC class 1 protein. The cytoplasmic tail of the CD8 is associated with the LCK and that is the cytosolic tyrosine kinase and the cytoplasmic tail of the T cell receptor is associated with the transmembrane protein CD3 complex. CD3 uh, complex consists of uh, gamma chain and delta chain, 2 epsilon chain and the 2 uh, zeta chains. And these cytoplasmic portion of uh, the chains have the immunoreceptor tyrosine based activation motifs which is called the ITAM. On binding of the T cell receptor and CD8 to the MSC class first protein and antigen fragments as LCK becomes activated. This activated LCK phosphorylates the item of the CD3 complex and the phosphorylated items act as a docking site for the JAP 70 that is zeta associated protein of 70 kilo Dalton. This JAP70 phosphorylates the tyrosine residue of some uh, targeted proteins in the cytotoxic pieces. This result in the release of the stored granules from the cytotoxic pieces targeted at the affected cells. And these granules contain the perforins, gran enzymes and the granulations. This is the action of the cytotoxic pieces. And after that, uh, here the diagram shows the different domains 
the zeta chain here the alpha beta uh, alpha beta gamma delta epsilon zeta chain are all present here the cd8 is also combining with the infected cells and the, through the msc class first protein the, this cytotoxic t cell is acting and releasing all the gran enzyme gran and the other to destroy the uh, pathogen that has entered inside the body and these several you know, perforin molecules get inserted in the cell membrane of infected cells and these are polarized to form the transmembrane porins the gran enzyme and gran leucines can enter the cell through the these pores and destroy that cell and cell contents are then leads to the leakage out of from the pores and gran enzyme is a serine protease which hydrolyzes the protein of the infected cells and the pathogen and this granulation activates the apoptosis of the infected cells thus combined action of perforin gran enzyme and, and granulation result in the destruction of the infected cells and destruction of the pathogen present on the infected cell.